Blackish creator Kenya Barris could be headed to trial over whether he essentially gave up the right to base works like Blackish on his own life experiences when he created an unproduced pilot with a friend from college. Brian Barber claims he and Barris partnered on a pilot back in 2006, and when it didn't take off, each agreed to not use it without the other's participation. In September 2016, he sued for breach of implied contract, breach of confidentiality, and fraud, claiming the ABC Family comedy is based on that pilot. Barris moved for summary judgment, arguing Blackish doesn't copy from the earlier script and isn't substantially similar to it. Therefore, there are no breaches or fraud. LA Superior Court Judge Samantha Jess tentatively denied the motion, finding there are tribal issues of fact that warrant putting the matter before a jury. She stopped short of making the decision final, instead taking the matter under submission following arguments on Thursday. Barris' attorney, Steven Stiglitz, argued that the judge has everything she needs to make the decision herself, emphasizing that the works aren't substantially similar. He also argued that the judge's tentative ruling didn't take into account Cinefair, aka generic plot points that aren't protectable. At issue here are jokes centering on black stereotypes. That project focused on a group of 20-something African-American professionals in the entertainment industry, Barris argued, likening it to Entourage. Meanwhile, Blackish is a family-centric sitcom with a lead who's in his 40s, but both are semi-autobiographical, which presents interesting issues. For example, Barris's real-life wife is an anesthesiologist named Rainbow. Tracy Ellis Ross's character in Blackish shares that name and occupation, and Barris's girlfriend in the 2006 script was a doctor called Bo. The trial is currently set to begin May 7th. This tentative decision comes on the heels of THR's report that Barris is trying to get out of his overall deal with ABC, amid speculation that he could be the next one to sign a rich deal with Netflix. For the latest updates on this story, head to THR.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.